Hello everybody, my name is Justin from Subvoy Media, the one and only. Anyways, I'm making this video because I'm tired. I've been doing school all day, and um, I see that a lot of people, um, my first video, uh, connected with no internet access from Windows 10, that video, a lot of people said it worked, but a bunch also said it didn't, so I compiled a bunch of extra command prompt codes to they'll maybe help out those people who uh, my initial video didn't necessarily fix their problem. So without further ado, here we go. Um, first, you're going to want to go down your search bar, CMD, or command prompt. Right click, run as administrator, then hit yes. Now you'll know you're running as administrator if you know it says C Windows System 32. Now I've got like six codes here. Uh, you can do them all, you can do whichever ones kind of apply to you more but I'm going to show you all six anyways. So the first one is going to be net sh space winsock space reset space all. Just like that. Um, that's going to reset the winsock catalog. It's always a good thing to try out first to maybe see if, the, if there's some in issues within your winsock catalog that's causing your connection not to work. The next one is going to be net sh int uh, tcp reset space all just like that that's gonna reset your TCP parameters it's another thing you could try out if you're kinda uncertain about what's causing your issue um, the next two are very specific they're kinda I the same as the uh, codes from the first video but they're more specific it's gonna be uh, the first one's gonna be net sh space int uh, space ipv4 reset all now obviously you'll want to use this code if you use ipv4 and if you don't, you can do net sh space int space ipv6 reset all if you use ipv6. Now as you can see, you get the exact same uh, set of codes, uh, lines of code that come up whenever you do the imp or the net sh int ip reset from the first video. And that's because you're kind of doing the same thing, but you're specifying a little bit more which one to reset. So those may work they may not if the first video didn't work I just wanted to show them anyways now the next one's going to be net sh int uh, https tunnel reset space all just like that uh, no specific uh, response comes up when you type in that one but as long as you type it in right just like I have it in the description or just like it is on screen then it should work just fine and then the last one, this one is uh, specific and it helped out a lot of people that I know. Well, it's going to be IP uh, config space forward slash flush DNS. Just like that. And it'll say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now that one, if you, if you were to go down there to your connection and run the troubleshooter like everyone does and it says it's a DNS related issue, then uh, that'd be the best code for you to use. But if that one doesn't work, you can try out any of the other five ones that I put in this video. Um, or seven, I have seven total, whatever. However many total I have, just try out the rest if that one didn't work. But that one's really DNS specific. So um, like I said, I'll have all these uh, codes linked in the description. Not linked, but typed out in the description so you can see them. Maybe if you can't see what's on my screen here. But um, what you're gonna wanna do is after, one specific note is after you do the uh, um, which one the windsock reset the TCP reset and the IP resets you're gonna want to restart your computer and then if for some reason they don't work you can try doing the um, the repair the automatic network repair whenever you do the uh, the troubleshooter again that is only if they don't work because sometimes they require Windows to uh, quote unquote repair them after you've run the code but most of the time it should work without having to do any extra work. Well, um, like I said, this video is more for the people who my first video didn't necessarily help out. And I really hope that this one uh, helps solve your problems. And if not, I'm sorry, I'll keep looking for results. But um, yeah, here's another video with some more codes. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, of course. You know, that really shows me that I'm making a difference when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I'll try to respond to comments more often. I've just been crazy busy since I uploaded that other video. 
and a lot more people than I expected had commented on that video. But uh, if my first video didn't help you out, I really hope this one does. And uh, like I said, if it does, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.